In this daily drop, I'm going to talk about delegating the work that you've normally done yourself to other people so you can expand your business. So let's go. All right, everybody, here we are, and another episode of The Daily Drop. This one is kind of a piggyback to yesterday's episode, where I talked about not stopping when it comes to promoting when you get really busy, because you can easily get overwhelmed, and the tendency is to say, I'm just going to focus on what I have right now, and then I'll find work later on. Well, We know, if you've been doing this for a while, that that generally doesn't work and that you have to continue to promote and continue to reach out to people. In fact, in some ways, what I do here daily on the daily drop, that was two dailies, three dailies, four dailies, you get the idea, um, for me is kind of a promotional activity. In fact, when I did a daily... At the time, I called them video podcasts that was called Gearbox for over three years. That daily series, five days a week, really had a lot to do with the work that I started to get in, especially focused on creating educational content for companies like Canon and Zeiss and Small HD. But it was also, for me, an incredible time in terms of growth when it came to learning about stuff, teaching things, and all of that. And here I am doing an updated version of that right now with The Daily Drop. All right, I digress. What is today's episode about? One of the hardest things for me to do, absolute hardest things for me to do when I started to realize, and I credit again my business partner and my wife for this, when I started to realize that I couldn't take on any more work was delegating work to other people. Because I had this false idea that I had to control everything that was happening creatively and that nobody else could do it quite the way I do it. Well, that perception was completely wrong because as I have gone through my career, if you want to call it that, over the last two plus decades, I've realized that for me at least, that there are certain things that I am really, really good at. I'm a very good producer, I think. I think I'm very good at creating educational content. I'm very good at helping a client, organization, company figure out how to communicate something effectively based on their brand strategy, what their marketing strategy is. But for instance, while I am not a bad editor, I don't love editing and there are much, much better editors than me. I am definitely not a bad director of photography, But in projects where I am producing and directing and wearing other hats, there are DPs that are far better than me and can concentrate on that job. It doesn't mean that I'm not comfortable in that role. It just means there are people who have made their career out of that one thing, and some of them are just exceptional. So with that said, what I'm trying to say in this video is there are people who are really, really, really good at what they do. And what you need to do when you start to get busy, or at least you can look at doing, is finding those types of people so that you can delegate that work to them. They'll probably be independent contractors and you have to start a relationship and it has to feel right. But it's the most importantly idea of letting go and being able to be in a supervisor role. So for instance, instead of being the editor, be the post supervisor. Oversee what the people are doing, but don't micromanage. And that's also a really big key to this. And the key to it working is you have to recognize the skill sets, the experience, the expertise that people have, and let them run with it. And then you guide but you don't micromanage. Micromanaging, in my opinion, almost never works effectively. So what I wanna just recommend is if you start to get busier and you have hesitated to hire other people to do jobs that you have normally done, 
don't, because it is the key to being able to expand and to grow and to take on more business. You just have to find the right people. How you do that is going to be your journey, but I do recommend that you do learn, if you are not comfortable with it already, to delegate and to help guide so that you're getting out of the people that you're working with something that is working with either what you're trying to produce for your client or for yourself. I hope that makes sense. Don't forget to, and to, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.